I have in here some ground lamb. So that's the first way to switch up your burger. Try something other than beef. And I'm just gonna season this up a little bit. It's uh, more and more and more actually in the case in the supermarket, they have ground lamb. But if you ask your butcher, you can get it. And this is a great way to introduce lamb to your family if you're not used to lamb, is having it in a burger. I have two pounds right here. And what I'm gonna do is just season it up a little bit. So I need one teaspoon of salt, and then rather than just cooking it straight, I like to get some different flavors in it. And this is a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and then two teaspoons of curry powder. Now if you're wondering where we're going with this burger, here's what's happening. We're gonna make it into a patty that's kind of an oblong patty. So if you can picture it, once it comes off the grill, it gets snuggled into a uh, pita, a piece of pita bread. And then I have a little salad made of parsley and red onion and tomato, which is a little bit like tabbouleh. And then on top of that all, I have a fantastic yogurt sauce called tzatziki. So what I do here is just really make sure that I've got it completely mixed up. And of course your hand, there's no, better utensil for this than your hand. And I want this to be uh, divided into about eight patties. So the way I usually do that, just to make sure I'm even, is I first of all take the whole thing in half, and then take it in half again. And then I know that each piece of these pieces have to go in half. So just take it and flatten it. And I like making it in this oblong shape because then it snuggles nicely into the pita bread. My mom was, when we grew up, the queen of pita bread. She would always have tabbouleh salad. She would always have tzatziki. Anytime she could, she would take ground lamb and make it into burgers, make it into a casserole. So I can tell you right now that when I see her, I am making her this dish. So we get them all formed, and of course, getting this done in advance would be a great idea. No one ever said you had to make a burger in the round, so I'm not. I'm making it oblong. And I'm also making it sort of thin. It's a lamb burger. And the reason I like this, well, there's a couple reasons. It fits beautifully into a piece of pita bread, which is how I'm gonna serve it. And it's thinly formed, so it's gonna cook in not too long a time either. So I just want eight patties here for two pounds of meat. Now, if there's one thing I've noticed lately in the supermarket is a lot of these sauces that I used to make homemade, you can actually buy in almost every supermarket. And tzatziki, that's T Z to Ziki is no exception. So over by the hummus and some of the specialty items in the dairy case, you see tzatziki. And I have to say, I absolutely adore it. And I'm starting obviously with a big seedless or English cucumber, whatever you want to call it. But when you get in here, you'll usually find some seeds. And it's a yogurt sauce and it's just, I can eat it just as dip, but I'm making it as a sauce for the burgers here. So just get your cucumber peeled and then you want to have it lengthwise and let's take a look and see what our situation is with the seeds because in a sauce like this you don't want the wetness of too many seeds so well it's kind of seedless i'm still going to just take a spoon and just run it down just to get them out. Meanwhile, I've got my lamb burgers over here. I'm just letting them rest a bit because I talk about this often. Anytime you're cooking with meat, it's nice to get it out of the refrigeration for a while and let it come up to room temperature a little bit. That way when it hits its heat source, it right away starts cooking instead of steaming before it cooks. So that's good. You just take a channel and just get it down. And I'm going to cut this into fairly small chunks, which means just taking it down slicing it lengthwise. And I never cut cucumber without just thinking it's got the freshest smell, doesn't it? It just smells like, I don't know, a sunny afternoon, cool, cool, cool vegetable. And one of the vegetables that my kids would just eat endlessly when they were young, and still do actually. All right, so I'm just chopping this up and getting it into a bowl over here. And the reason you don't want these pieces too, too big is if you think about it, it's a bit of a sauce and it's going to be on our burger. So we don't want giant, giant pieces. So I think that looks great. Now, to this, I am going to add two cups of yogurt. And I like the thick kind. Another thing you can buy in the supermarket now, there's so many amazing things that you used to only be able to get in specialty stores and you can really just get in pretty much any supermarket now. So the yogurt... I want about a teaspoon of 
lemon zest, which is probably gonna be just this whole lemon. So I'll just not even measure it, just use it. The bottom line is you want that lemony flavor. Another one of my mom's favorites. And then about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And that, generally speaking, is half of a lemon. Regular sized lemon, you can pretty much guarantee you're getting two tablespoons of lemon juice out of. So I'll just save this for later, put this over here. And then mint. So you got the cucumber, you got the mint, you got the yogurt, you got the lemon. Are you starting to see where we're going here with our lamb burgers? Can you start to imagine the fresh, kind of different flavor that it's gonna be? And that's what I do in the summertime. I'll try to figure out like a new barbecue sauce or a new kind of burger or something like that. And then I just work it all summer long. And the best of the best makes it to the next year. And then the next year I just make up something new. So this year it's lamb burgers for me. So this you wanna get chopped up fairly finely. I think you want maybe about a quarter of a cup in total. So of course, I'm cooking this indoors in a grill pan, but you could do it outside. You could do it on a gas grill. You could do it on a charcoal grill. You name it. All right, that is all this takes except for a little bit of salt, a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we just mix this up. Now, it gets a little bit thinner because the cucumbers let out a little bit of liquid, but because we took out those seeds, we're not going to have too much. Mm. Forget about a sauce. I could just start eating this right now, and I'm going to taste it. Of course I'm going to taste it. You got to taste as you're going along, just to make sure that you're where you think you're supposed to be. Mmm. Yum. Okay. I'm going to put my lamb burgers on. They cook only for about three minutes per side. Okay. While those cook off, I'm going to put a little salad together. Now, I think of this as a kind of homage to tabbouleh. I'm not making a whole full-on tabbouleh salad, but I'm using some of my favorite flavors. So just a half of an onion that I'm thinly slicing. All right. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put this in a bowl. And boy, the red onion, remember we have the cucumber, we have the yogurt, and now I'm shaving off some parsley. And when I say shaving, literally, I'm thinking of this as the kind of lettuce on my burger. So I want this parsley to have nice big pieces. So I'm just shaving it off with a sharp knife. And I have a couple of tomatoes here. And these tomatoes I'm gonna chop, because I don't mind some of that yummy liquid from the tomatoes mixing up there and making this a little bit of a salad type thing. So we are getting all the bright colors, all the fresh flavors for summer, for our burger. So just slice each tomato. And then go ahead and slice them again. Chop into small pieces. I'm gonna just start getting it in as I go so I can get some of that liquid working in there. And if tomatoes don't make you feel like you're ready for summer, I don't know what does. The thing I like about this, with all this salad and all this yogurt and this fresh flavor, is you're really satisfying your burger craving, but you're doing it in such a healthy way and with kind of a nice twist to it, too. All right, now I'm just gonna stir this together just to mix all these beautiful colors together. And I like the way the long pieces of red onion, they work nicely with the chopped tomato, and that's the way I think about salads a lot. Different sizes and different textures together. I'll get this right into here as my burger bar comes together. I'm gonna get these burgers off. I'm gonna turn them off the flame. Made a little mess here, oh well. Can always clean up. One thing I did forget to do though was to season up my salad a little bit. And I'm just gonna do that with a little bit of salt and olive oil to bring out the flavors. Mmm, yum. Yum, yum, yum. So off the grill come the burgers. I can tell they're done just by the way they look. You can have your lamb burgers rare or medium rare, well done, whatever you want. Not my mom. My mom likes them rare. But for the kids, I might make them a little bit more well done. You can't imagine how this smells. That curry powder that we put into the patties mixes with the lamb, and it is just the most incredible combination. And this is that moment in time where I can just know where I'm going. I'm excited because I'm gonna make myself a lamb burger. 
All right, so here's how you build it. You take yourself a piece of pita bread, and by the way, you can just heat these in the oven if you want or toast them, and cut the top off like that and open it up like that. And then I'm gonna make a little bed here inside for my burger to lie in. And then just pick your burger and slip it inside your pocket. And actually, I'm gonna put a little more on top too. <laughs> and then your salad goes on top of the whole thing. Uh-oh, I, I might have overloaded with sauce. I must say, I'm such a fan of this sauce. And you know, you wanna have this nearby because you're gonna wanna be adding more as you go along. That's my Lamburger.